We take immense pleasure in welcoming our chief guest to CIT Catapult, Ms. S. Sai Priya, CEO of Vibrant Education. She did her bachelor's degree at Anna Adarsh College and completed MBA and MS in Psychology in Anna Malay University. She is a woman of power and inspiration who has made and still making out splendid experiences from her career. Ms. S. Sai Priya is currently working as a CEO, soft skill trainer, managing director at the Yard Consultancy Services and has over one year experience as a business consultant. She is a well-known person for multitasking and for giving the best psychology advices. We are honored to have such an inspiring woman like you, ma'am. You may kindly take over the session. Thank you, Madhu. Hi, guys. Good morning, all. I'm so delighted to be, you know, with you all. Not to share anything big, but uh, to share your feelings and emotions and the joy. Because you people have joined your, uh, you know, college in, with full of dreams. Right from your school days, like uh, the burden which you have. Uh, all those, uh, you know, those pressure which you have in your um, uh, you know, school days, your 12th examination and your other part. We are just here to talk more about, you know, this grads and aliens. Any clues? You you people are grads. You you people are the graduate. You are into the graduation program. So who are the aliens? Any clues? I want this to be very interactive. You, I request you all to give me answers in the chat box so that I can also enjoy, you can also enjoy. I don't want this to be a lecture session and I'm not a lecturer. Who can be the aliens? Who are aliens? Anybody? No one to talk? You don't know who is an alien? Who is an alien? Uh, Ma'am, uh, they can't uh, reply you even, I mean, they can uh, chat you in the chat box. You can look yeah, into I, it. Yeah, I request that uh, them to yeah. uh, reply in the chat box. Okay. Who is an alien? Just one word of re response. That's it. You people know who is an alien? Who is not a human being? Who don't behave like us, who don't do anything like normally what we all do. They are human beings, uh, they are aliens. Do you agree with me? Yes, no? Well, no one there, no there will be a slight delay in the video going to the participants so that it will take time for them to reply. Uh, okay, done. So, aliens are people who are not going to do regular things to you. According to you, who is an alien? Was my question. Okay, cool. I think you people are still sleepy. Good morning. Good morning. Anybody alive? There are answers in chat box. No? Can you see? I couldn't see the those answers. Um, they have answered like uh, creatures from another galaxy, non-human creature. People who don't blend in. Okay. Good. Great. Is there a facility for me to see because it will be more interacting, helpful for me? Like it is visible, no? Mm, one second. Yeah, you can see the message right now. Okay.
So aliens are one who are uh, out of galaxy, who don't think practically about it and uh, who are going to talk, um, you know, which we cannot understand. We cannot understand them. We cannot talk about what they are talking. Uh, we cannot think about what they are talking or we cannot talk to their language. Do you all agree with me? So we are going to talk how we are going to interact to these aliens, these aliens who are going to, you know, um, talk something which is practically not uh, possible from our end or who are going to talk more about things which is uh, not happening from our end. It, it's something weird. Yeah, that is what we have. We are planning to, uh, you know, talk about before we get into it. Can we have a game of colors? So I am going to, you know, uh, give you few instructions and you're just going to follow it. Yes, it's just uh, a game of colors where I'll be talking about some colors and you just need to grasp what it is. You need not let me know. You just grasp what are the colors or the objects which has the same color around you. Ready? So, uh, my question is, look around yourself. You need not move from your place. Just look around yourself. Check how many green colors are there. Objects which is, which has green color, which is green in color. Just look around yourself and let me know how many objects are there which is green in color. That around just like four. People are saying it's four. Okay. You just keep it in mind. Six, you need not tell four, me. Ten. Yeah. Okay. You need not tell me. Keep it with you. Now, I want you to check how many yellow colors are there. Yellow objects which has which are yellow in color. Done? You saw? Now close your eyes. Just rewind how many green, how many yellow. Just keep it in your mind. Just 20 seconds. Close your eyes. Just check. Yes? It's there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good. Now check how many red are there. How many red are there? Close your eyes now. Just recollect what are the red objects available. Done. My question to you is this. You would have seen green, yellow, and red. Yes? My question is this. How many objects? Honesty is the best policy. No looking around. You just close your eyes. Rethink about it and then give me, uh, the, reply me in the chat box. Yes? How many objects are there which are blue in color? You would have seen red, yellow, and green. My question is this. I want you to list out the objects which are blue. List out the objects, not the counts. List out the objects which were blue in color. And their answer is two. Two? No, I want the object names. Two houses. Not in this. Not in this picture. Around you. Okay, I started getting the answers. Thank you, Madhu. You're welcome, ma'am.
So how many of you able to see a pen, a blue pen? A blue pen. So you people started observing things. Good, good. You people started, uh, you know, recollect, could recollect the objects which were blue in color, which is not being notified by you. You never noticed with an intention that you need to recollect all those objects which are in blue. Your main motive was to look into green, look into yellow and look into red. It was really not blue, but you people can manage it. So that is the superpower of your brain. Do you agree with me? We collect a lot of things into our brain, into our mind, which we intentionally not looking into. Yes. This is what our brain speciality is. So the reason why I'm talking about this brain speciality is we are going to talk how to match our brain with the alien's brain and balance. So you're all fr uh, freshers, right? So you would have enjoyed your school days. You would have enjoyed your school days where you enjoyed a lot of studies, a lot of tests, a lot of studies and a lot of tests. Yes? You enjoyed your studies, you enjoyed your exams, you enjoyed your school days with friends. Did you enjoy? Did you enjoy? Good. So, from school, what you started doing is you, uh, you know, started getting into a dream world your school got over your board exam got over you are you scored very well and you are so happy that you are relieved from your school and you are just enjoying your life where you are getting into a college so you, you are here in this college in CIT with all your dreams, with your engineering courses. You are, uh, you know, jumping on the uh, in, uh, high on the sky. This is what we are. Now, everything is over. Every All our board exams are got over. Now we are going to enjoy our uh, college um, like how it is being shown in the movies. Yeah, we can bunk college, we can um, go for an enjoyment. Even now we are having a lot of, uh, you know, interactive and fun loving sessions going on. So this is a place where I'm going to enjoy. I got relieved from my school. How many of you think so? I got relieved from my school and I'm going to enjoy my life. Yes, so you people are thinking that you're going to enjoy your life and with all the dreams of getting in a graduation, you becoming a professional, being an engineer, you will become a professional, you will be enjoying your life along with few studies, you will get a good, uh, you know, a, a degree from a very good college and then you will get a good job. You will buy a car, you will be, uh, you know, going for your dream places. All this will happen. Yes, you will be having, uh, you know, loads and loads of dreams. This is what we are. This is what I'm going to become. I'll become, an, uh, you know, a software engineer. I'll become a um, CEO of a company. I'll start my own business. I'll be a, a key person of my company. I'll do wonders in uh, mechanical i'll be doing uh, i'll be constructing a building which no one can imagine all these dreams are there in us and these dreams are going to 
take us high in the sky yes it is going to take us high in the sky and this is where we are going to enjoy our life for the next 4 years after 14 years of studies in the school with the uniforms with uh, your regular way of uh, learning with lot of homeworks and assignments i'm relieved from my uniforms i can wear color dresses i can uh, you know enjoy my uh, life there won't be much of homework i'll be enjoying things this is your dream do you guys agree yes but what happened before what happened before your school days how many of you had experienced this how many of you have experienced this how many of you had experienced this your mom and dad behind you your marks your scoring your uh, um you they they won't allow you to talk to your friends over a phone if a guest comes in they'll say like una kena vela just go inside and study focus on your studies your board exams are on you won't be allowed you will be having tv um, you know you will you will be having computer you will be having audio music system everything will be there but you won't be allowed to use it just focus on your studies even if you are going to score one or two marks less than that they'll say why less i want you to score more we experienced all this they'll be loading you with lot of skills Pra go for this class, go for that class, go do this, do that, do this, do that. Come on, guys! This is my age for me to play. This is an age for me to enjoy. This is an age for me to, uh, you know, love my life. This is an age for me to admire someone or make others admire. Isn't it an age for us? Don't we uh, need our own space? Don't we need our own space? My mom want me to become a, a an a, you know expert in coding, but I want to become a photographer. Which movie we saw this? My dad want me to become a an engineer, but I want to become a photographer. Which movie was that? you need to help me with that answers because i'm not getting it yes ma'am nanban they are saying nanban ma'am nanban very good so we know very well that we got uh, you know that that's the scenario we we are just you know been pushed with lot of uh, you know uh, skill based training programs coaching class tuition morning we wake up very you know with with lot of pressure during our uh, school days like oh morning came i need to go to school i need to prepare for my uh, home prepare my homework i need to prepare for my test that moment you come back home your mom or dad will chuck you to the tuition once you come back from tuition your whatsapp the teachers will be given uh, they would have instructed some uh, homeworks or they would have given some uh, test or assignments and that will go to your mom and dad you have your mobile phone they won't send it to you they'll send it only to your mom and dad and they will be on you know readily waiting for you when the moment you come in they'll ask you come on go focus uh, your uh, food everything will come on your study table yes does it happen have you all experienced this
Yes. Yes, ma'am. So we all experience this. Good. And this again. I start preparing for physics. My mom says, no, go with Max. Why don't you take this question paper? This is 10, uh, you know, this last year question paper, model question paper. Uh, uh, my friend shared this question paper from that school. Practice this, practice that. She will be loading your mom, dad, your teachers. Everyone will be loading on you. Hey, at the moment you completed your board exam, you completed your JE, the moment you... Uh, you know, got relieved from all these things. They'll say like your results came and you're, it's time for you to join a school. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, a college and where you need to get ready for another round of roller coaster. How many of you felt so happy after completing all your examinations and that time? After completion of examinations and your result, the in-between time, how many of you felt relaxed? Hapa, everything got over. I can, I can be free from all these things. No more books, nothing. Feel like throwing off all your books, throwing off your bag, throwing off everything and enjoying. How many of you? They are saying everyone, ma'am, every, every student will face that. Everyone of us, right? Every one of us, we are facing that. And I'm sure it is going to be in in the heart of each and everyone, not only you, even the parents. Hapa exam got over. I need not be behind him and I'll, let me be free. I need not be behind her. Let me be free. Do you all agree? Now tell me. Who is this alien? Who is the alien in our life? Who can't understand what we are trying to tell them. And we can't understand what they are trying to tell us. Who is the alien of our life? According to us. According to us. Who are they? Who are the aliens in our life, according to us, who cannot understand what we are talking? Keep on attacking us. Keep on, they, their target is only us. Ma'am, they are saying parents and the society, relatives and etc. Very good. So, the aliens for us are parents, teachers, the society, everyone who can't understand, who can't understand. We teenagers, it is time for us to enjoy. It is time for us to dream a lot. It is time for us to attract someone. It is time for us to admire someone. It is time for us to, and this is a time where we can enjoy. After going to a job, we cannot, but people are not understanding us. They are, keep on attacking us and we need to take up a sword which is nothing but our book and we need to fight with them with our marks and with our scores and with our, you know, all sort of obedience, respect, listening to them. We are not listening. Listen to me. I know what I need to do. That will be the response. No, we, we, we are helpless. And this session, we are just going to talk about this. Why this is happening to us? How to escape from this easily and how to make a friendship with our aliens. How to make a friendship with our aliens. Yes, so this is what we are going to talk. So as you all said, it is not only your parents, it is a complete society which is expecting more towards what they want from you. All these years, right from... LKG till 12th, till 12th, they'll be holding your fingers. They'll be, you know, they won't even allow you. If you want to go to your friend's place, 
why where are you going what do you want to do why you want to go to your friend's place all these questions comes in. you taking a permission going and meeting your friend it's going to be a big time project for you it is more tough than a board exam you need to get permission from your mom from your dad then your even from your doggy which is at your home everyone will ask you question and they will not allow you they will give you a, a small amount of money and they'll say you spend for this they will do this. all those instructions will be given you will feel like i've grown up i'm a teenager i've crossed 16 i'm enjoying my life i know what is the world i have seen practically i go out why are you instructing me as if i'm a small kid i'm no more a kindergarten kid please understand please understand you have screamed many times to your mom and dad please just forget about mom and dad even if it comes to teachers or even if it comes to anybody any stranger who goes they'll say like you're a young guy or young girl she to that you don't they will give us advice 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 and nothing else nothing happens except advices and instructions they'll just hold our hand till 12 this is what it has happened now we joined uh, college now we are no more school students or school goers we are professionals engineers we will we have just joined it's 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 fraction of and it is matter of months not even years it's just a matter of months you people are freshers but the reaction from them would have completely changed you can't understand them now they will say you have gone to college uh, kindly excuse me if i'm one uh, who can't understand tamil but i'll still i would like to say this in tamil college poyaachu innuma porupu varla this will be the talk till never say they'll never they they didn't allow us to do anything till 12 now we join college now they respect expect all sort of responsibility in fraction of month not even a month they'll say like you've gone to college now you you must be more responsible take up all responsibilities house on responsibilities personal finance financial everything will come on you come on guys what are you thinking about us give us a room give us a space it happens right sometimes it happens nowadays parents are trying to be friendly with us but still parents are always parents they push all those responsibilities on our head it is not only parents it is not only uh, the society it is also from the teachers and our faculties and your 12th teacher who would have been you know sitting on your head do this question do that question if you are not going to do this you can't score high all those the moment you went on a farewell most of you would have not because of the score covid but what their advice now will be like you've gone to college you are going to rock the show you are going to do this you are going to do wonders the expectation has changed so their expectation changes the moment you come to college this is where again your alien attack comes in but what is in our mind according to college what is in your mind according to college the moment you join college forget about this covid situation this will go off in few months you are having four years what is your dream about college one is studies forget about the studies part what is the other end what is the other end what you are going to enjoy what you what you what what comes into your mind is there any response yes ma'am they are expecting about how friends will be friendship shall i guess it it is going to be a friendship it is going to be a enjoyment you going on an industrial visit you getting into a good job all these will come into your mind yes 
so you will be enjoying every you want to enjoy each and every moment that is what you are expecting in a college apart from your education of course education plays a major role in college apart from education it is just going to be enjoyment and nothing else you will be having lot of cultural programs you will be having lot of fun you will be having lot of uh, friends you you are going to think how okay how how many students are going to be there how to of them how many girls how many boys how fun it is going to be how my teacher is going to take the session is that going to be a uh, a school it's similar to a school or it is going to be different all these things comes into your mind yes do you all agree yes ma'am they are chatting what are the things you are you said okay great so but after few years or few months you may feel this is again we are back to another school you are back to another school you may feel this yes she is smiling this happens you know why because college is a place where you will be having more of responsibilities more of fun but more of focus towards your professionalism yes so it is going to be more towards your professionalism and where you will be interacting more towards uh, you know your technical skill developing your technical skill and developing your career focused skills i know very well college like yours will be having lot of uh, you know um, training programs and they they give you they see to that you are you are becoming a perfect professional that is what they expect in you yeah so how to solve it we want to enjoy we want to enjoy but what you want to do is not going to happen because you will be more focused on more focused on career more focused on career so they will be focusing more towards career so how to solve it how to solve it you must start looking at the other end of the other side of it yes this portion the top is what is going to be your you know enjoyment part but the bottom the rock which is inside the rock which is inside is nothing but your hard work your um, you know the stress which you are going to take your tension which you are going to take all these your studies your career your um, you know the dreams of towards your career you buying a lamborghini you buying an island in uh, us all these are not depend on the top enjoyment it is just like the topping on the ice cream topping on the ice cream which we always love to have but the bottom is nothing but the cone which is a it is really tough and hard which we are going to hold which is going to help you to enjoy that that we need to focus on yes so what is family what is a family f for faith a for adopting things we all have faith in our mom and dad and mom and dad are, are having faith in us we are adopting to all situations now covid came in we started adopting things for 6 months no outside snacks 4 months at least no outside snacks we adopted with mom's food which we used to avoid during our school days we used to love to have outside food but we started adopting things managing ourselves allow others to manage involvement how many of us involved in the family things as soon as our mobile phone you know came into existence our family became mobile phone 
we just go home throw off our sandals throw off our bags sit with our mobile phone we long for our mobile phone we don't miss our mom and dad we miss our mobile phone there must be a space for our family and love of course you are going to show a love towards them they are going to show more love i'm not talking about you don't show a love you are showing but expressing it sharing it with them just rewind yourself some 10 years back where you used to go to your mom or dad and share all all your school activities my friend said so my uh, my teacher said so my friend fell down she bought uh, dosa today and uh, the chutney was not good her mother don't know to cook all this you used to share all these you created an expectation to your parent now you stopped completely that's a vacuum which got created and that is why they are coming and reacting to you so this is where we need to focus so uh, finally it is going to be yourself talking about career the reason why i am talking about career now is since we are into college most of us i'm talking about the aliens will attack you only on this be career focused right from day one they'll say nalla padi nalla mark vaangu nalla velaiki po score good get a good job do whatever you want anyone your parents your teachers everyone is going to say this to develop your career skills this is a right time because you have four years to practice it like how rajnikanth used to say na uh, talk english walk english eat english start behaving like a professional the day one your dress up your attitude everything is going to matter your technical skill of course it matters but apart from this all your communication your attitude your behavior your how you present yourself all these matters so communication attitude responsibility emotional intelligence and education so of course resetting your goal you achieved you want to complete your 12th you achieved your goal you want to complete your um, you know your uh, you want to get into a good college you achieved your goal now your goal must be another keep on resetting it so how you think the difference the challenge where we go is why am i here what am i doing when am i going to be considered as a hero you want to show your heroism your talent outside you want to prove that you are uh, really smart this is what we all do where i am going to show my heroism who is going to admire me we dress up very well we attract others but how your aliens think is something different why he or she is here what is she going to do how their future is going to be will they be practical enough or not how to come out of it how can i help you all these are going to be now the reason why there is a difference of opinion with you grads and your aliens are just this who is the villain is your brain there is something called melanin melanation which happens in your neurons this melanation happens during the teenage period and it extends till 20 to 23 this is a place where it it starts actually from a back of your brain and come towards it. it 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 covers it is like a coating and this coating is nothing but a power of decision making it covers up all the emotional stuff and it takes you towards decision making so if you look at the brain how it works the childhood we will be more creative we won't think anything more logically or more into you know big seriousness we don't take big things into a very serious note child children they don't take kids they don't take you would have seen but when it slowly moves towards 20 to 23 it completely changes all this green and red are into creativity fictitious thoughts and other stuff the more we start growing the 20 to 23 is the age where you become more logical and that is the time you start taking up your career you start focusing on your job 
and you start focusing on all your things in a serious note i'll just end up the session with just the story and uh, i'll just let you know how you need to take up things which is really going to be a challenging for you into a very serious uh, you know a casual note we are all creative people we are all fun loving people but the pressure which we are going to get into our mind is going to be very serious because the pressure is going to come from a matured people and adult who have got all these things in a very logical way who think things in a logical way yeah but we are creative how to balance it is what we need to look at how to balance these things is what we need to look at okay this story is going to be a very interesting story a love story but with little twist yes so we have uh, you know uh, in a college two people joined and they were freshers they used to board in the same bus stand to the college they live in the nearby places the girl's name is pinky and boy's name is bob pinky and bob is they used to stand in the same bus stand they used to board and they never used to talk months went on bob always used to you know smile at her um show as if he is interested towards her and he used to be a super cool guy pinky is also cute enough and she also got slowly attracted towards him as a sign of friendship pinky said hi to bob pinky said hi to bob cause of it bob said hi cause of it bob also said hi the friendship bloomed they started moving close they used to chit chat they used to uh, you know sit next to next in the bus they used to spend more time once what uh, they felt was they need to spend much time outside so they plan to bunk the college and go out pinky said uh, i'll bring my scooty and we will go to a nearby mall so bob was waiting in the bus stand and pinky took bob pinky was riding the scooty and bob was sitting at the back what happened they went to the mall they went to the mall and the mall um, pinky went to buy some food so when she went bob's friends popped in bob's friends popped in they said uh, coincidentally they it, they met and they said hi bob and they started asking are you on on your challenge uh, did you uh, manage to get a proposal from pinky that was our bet i hope you remember it is not just making a friendship but it was your bet unfortunately pinky overheard it and she came there all their friends noticed it they said hi pinky and moved away bob finally got caught and pinky's bp shooted up can you understand the story what it is what it is can you understand the story what it is it is nothing but your trigonometry sin theta p by h cos theta b by h tan theta b p by b cosec height by perpendicular sec cot was my trigonometry not interesting was that not creative Yes. very interesting ma'am it was right this is nothing but your mind it is up to you it is you who need to create all these you need to do just remember these factors these three factors don't adjust with anyone try to adopt things don't bear anything try to behave show that you are smart enough don't comment but care yes i'll just start with uh, stop with this four gems which are very valuable adopt this four gems which is going to help you to fight with your aliens and make them as your friends let let them be to the peak how 
uh, you know, tough they are. These four gems you're going to use and you're going to, you know, attack them back and you're going to make them friends. You're not going to hurt them. You're going to make them friends. Best way is make your enemy as a friend. You will solve all your problems. Empathy is your first gem. Put yourself on others' shoe. My mom and dad are working hard and that is why they are showing all these frustrations. Put yourself on your other shoe. You will make them feel more comfortable. Show gratitude. Ma mom, you did so many things for you, for me. You make upma by 5 o'clock. I love it. You don't love upma, but show. She is fighting for you. She is doing something special for you. So see to that you are showing your gratitude. They will feel more confident. See, he he is understanding my problem by showing empathy. He he or she is showing a gratitude. So I must be confident enough that they will grow. If I'm going to say that you people are superb enough that you are understanding each and everything, you will be comfortable with me. Don't you? You don't know me. You're, uh, we never met. I, I couldn't even see you. But still, we do that, right? I'll be comfortable. You will be comfortable with me. And you're going to respond me. You're just responding me. I'm having a confidence that you people are listening to me. That is the gratitude. Gratitude need not be thanking them. But just show, respond them. That itself shows a sign of a gratitude. Forgiveness make them feel empowerment. I know very well, no mom and dad are trained. They have not been taken to any training center or laboratory to test trial and error and then come and do parenting. They do a lot of mistakes. Forgive them. Neglect those mistakes. They will feel, she, in spite of me shouting, he is not responding or she is not reacting. They will feel the guilt and they'll come back and They'll be talking to you in a very smooth way. And they'll see to that they don't shout at you back. The last one is being humility. You showing your humility is going to create a value for you. You showing your mom, you know, grinding something in a mixer. You say, you take care, I'll just grind it. Or if she's standing in front of the milk, you say, you go, I'll switch off the gas. This is just a humility, a small humility. But she'll say, you have become so responsible. She'll go and say to everyone, now my son and daughter have become so responsible, so, you know, uh, wonderful. They have started taking all this and your attack, alien attack will become a lovable family. So these are the ways where we are going to, you know, fight against our aliens. Small, simple steps which will help us to fight against an alien and make them our own friend and show we are great leaders. We are all great leaders. We are born genius. We are born leaders. Our brain are too smart, too creative. Remember two, two things. Use those four gems and use your creativity in your studies. You are the best in this world. That's all from my end. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am, for your informative and interesting session. Now they will have a clear mind about their college life and how to manage both their academics and enjoyment and how to learn things easily like a trigonometry. It was much interesting, ma'am. We thank you for taking your time from your busy schedule. It's always been a pleasure to have you with us, ma'am, and we look forward to see you again for the upcoming events. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Wish you all and all the best. You may leave now, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank ma you.